Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can install and set up Jupyter WordPress theme. Basically, this is a multi purpose WordPress theme that has 450 plus ready made websites that you can import with one click. And as I said, this is a multi purpose WordPress theme, so you can use this theme for creating a blog website, corporate website, portfolio, education, entertainment, a product website, a show off, and so on. You can filter these demos by these clicking here. And if you want to see all, you can just click on on. Now you can choose the demo that you need. So if you need this one, you can just open this up and you can visit this and you will get an idea that how it look. Now I'll show you how you can buy this theme and how you can set this up. And then for the rest of customization, you can watch my previous videos. Let's open up any of these like this one. So you can see this is a very clean design with the logo and the top navigation and a cart icon. And this is basically for sofas and if you scroll down you will see this section and another section with a video and then a board section and that's it. So very clean and minimal design and again you can choose any of these demos based on your need. The one that we will be creating in this video is this one. This is basically a hotel website and with a slider with the top logo contact info online booking and so on and let's scroll down here we have a booking form where user can book online like they can choose a check-in date check out date and they can choose the family members like adult child rooms required and they can click on start now then if you scroll down you will see this section and another cool section with a video and this call to action then in the board section with a slider and then some image boxes this section about and so on and here you can fill up your number and check availability and some gallery and then the footer so let's see how we can make this website with a few clicks now to create a website like this first you need to buy that theme so to get the theme you can follow the link in the description which will take you to this page here you can see the title, this is the theme and this is the price. And this is one time price, so you can just buy this and then you can use this for lifetime. Just add this to cart and then go to checkout and pay for this theme. I already have this, let me show you. And this is the theme, you will get a file like this after downloading this theme. And if you open this, you will see files like these, just open this first folder. You will see some documentation and then open this folder, JupyterX. And here you will find all the plugins, the Jupyter chat team and the main team. You just need to upload this to your WordPress. So to upload this, you can go back to your dashboard. And here you can go to appearance. And as you can see, we only have this default theme. And uh, let me show you the website also. And this is our website, we don't have anything for now. So let's upload the theme, we will go to add new. Upload theme and I'll choose file. I already have extracted the file, so I'll choose this. This is the main theme, okay? So I'll choose file and I'll choose the theme, open and install now. And now you can go ahead and activate this theme. And after activation, this will take you to this page. Here you can see to complete installation and unlock all JupyterX features, you need to install these plugins. So make sure to enable all and then click on install and activate. This is the core plugin that JupyterX theme required and this is advanced custom fields and we have WooCommerce optimization. After installation this will redirect you. Now you can see install WooCommerce and uh, connect and activate. And this is defined on you. If you want to create a shop you can install and activate WooCommerce and then you will have to connect this with this plugin. These are optional and I don't want WooCommerce for now so let's leave this and then scroll down. And this is the dashboard of the theme where you can see the dashboard, layout builder and so on. And here you will have to activate the license because without it we can't import any of the demo websites. As if I try this, nothing will happen and even if I go to ready -made websites, you will see all are locked now. So we must have to activate the license and for that you can go to dashboard. And here you will have to activate the license. So just click on register license. And here you can write your email and then invite to purchase code. And that's why I always suggest to use Invite to Market theme and not null theme. So let me write my email and also the purchase code. 
By the way, to get your purchase code, you can just go to Theme Forest, and then go to your Downloads page, and here you can just click on this arrow, and you will be able to download your license or purchase code in PDF or in text format. And once you click on this, you will get a file like this. This is the purchase code. You can see Jupyter Multipurpose Office Theme. So this is the theme name, and this is the purchase code. We will just need to copy this, and we'll paste it here. And then if you want to subscribe, you can check this and you can also check this one and then click submit. And thanks for registration. You have successfully registered. Then click OK. And this will refresh the page. Now our license is active. We have a premium support of 6 months also. Then you can go to layout builder. And here you can manage your header, page title, footer, single and archive pages. We don't have anything for now because we haven't imported any of the websites. So let's go to maintenance and under here ready-made website and here you can see all the websites that I showed you and you can import them by one click and previously these were locked and now we can import them and the one I was looking for is uh, I think hotel so I'll search for that you can also filter them by categories by style, header type and so on so this is the one that I'll be using in this video this is just the client choice okay so here you can check the preview again and to import you can just click on import then you can choose full import or you can choose only content i'll suggest you to use full import and you can also include the media these are copyrighted but we can change them later on let's click import again click yes now this will start importing the content so let's wait for this and the template is successfully imported let's click ok and now let's check our websites so this was the freebies and now if i refresh we got that whole website along with the logo contact navigation online booking slider the booking form and so on so this was how you can install and set up this theme now let me quickly show you how you can customize this page or this website so for the main content you can just edit the page with elementor by the way you can also edit in the tabs the header and footer and uh, the sticky header using elementor and by sticky header i mean if i scroll down you can see this header you can even edit this with elementor and again elementor is very easy and powerful page builder let me show you if i edit this page and this is elementor pop-up you can create images with ai i have a video about this so let's close this we will also close this now as i said elementor is really easy to customize so you can just click on the text and you can change the text right here you can link this text to anywhere you can change the sizes and so on and uh, same goes for the buttons if i edit this i can change the button arrow the button text and also the link for now i'll make this empty so this is just a drag and drop builder if you want to add more things you can just scroll down or you can click on this plus you can drag and drop anything here for example I need an image here so I'll just drag an image now I can select an image from my media library or I can upload a new one for now let's choose any of these images I'll select this and that's it you can add more columns like this then you can add some text here for example a heading and some text so this is how you can work with Elementor and this is how you can customize the, this website. Again, you can edit this with Elementor. So you can scroll up and you can click on this. You can discard these changes because I don't want to save them. And now I can start editing the header. So I can click on this. And this is the logo so I can change this. I can click on this. I can change this icon, this text and also the phone number. So this is how easy Elementor is. Uh, by the way if you need elementor pro link is in the description you can also get a proper hosting from the link in the description and also this theme link is in the description and if you want to learn more about wordface elementor and woocommerce you can follow my channel i have lots of videos about wordface and still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next